Hello and welcome to the 2024 Baking Challenge. It is week number 26, I'm pretty sure. And we are just a couple days away from Independence Day, so I thought we could do something a little star-spangled awesome, but not in the traditional American pie flag type of way. Let's go with an unexpected twist on a classic dessert. We are making strawberry shortcake. And to get that blue in the red, white, and blue, I'm gonna top mine with some blueberries. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. I really struggled with what to make this week. I know that the American flag pie is totally awesome. Um, I just, it's never been like crazy impressive to me. I also know that apple pie is like, you know, as American as apple pie, but I really wanted to go with something a little different and strawberries are everywhere right now. So strawberry shortcake it is. Now, the first thing you're gonna need to do is prepare your fruit. Um, just a warning, I have cut this recipe in half for myself but I'm gonna be calling out the numbers for the full recipe, which should make nine of the biscuits, okay? Biscuits, cakes, whatever you wanna call them. So the numbers I'm calling out are the numbers you're going to want to make if you're making the entire recipe. I feel like this is a really fun thing to make if you have to go somewhere, if you have to take this dessert somewhere, this is gonna be way easier. You have your fruit in a bowl, you have your biscuits in a bag and your can of whipped cream. You can make whipped cream yourself. It can be homemade. I'm not gonna judge if you buy store-bought though because that's what I did because sometimes it's just too much and I wanna be easy and I'm doing everything easy today. So preparing the fruit. You're gonna have two cups of strawberries. All right, we're going to mash some of those strawberries and slice others, okay? And this doesn't look like a lot. You're gonna end up with way more, I've already explained. Um, you don't have to get like crazy with the mashing. You really just want, you know, little, little chunky pieces here. And then you're going to add half a cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of lemon juice. And then you're going to mix all of that up in your bowl and you're gonna set this aside for about an hour. After you get your fruit done, you're gonna turn on your oven to 425. Make sure there's nothing in your oven, please. We don't want to start off frying everything. All right, we're gonna make the biscuits, all right? To make the biscuits, you're going to whisk together three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. All right, um, also buttermilk powder. Now, buttermilk powder is fantastic and I have mine right here. This stuff is shelf stable. It'll last for a while. I use it in scones a lot, so it does get used. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's a fourth a cup of buttermilk powder. Your three and a half cups of all purpose flour. You're gonna have a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and three tablespoons of granulated sugar. I have all of that together in this bowl because I pre-measured everything <laughs> so that I could try to keep this video short for you all. Once you have your dry ingredients in your bowl, and you can do this by hand, you don't need to use a mixer. Uh, I am though. Once you have your dry ingredients in, just whisk, whisk it all together. That's good enough. And then we're going to add our butter eight tablespoons of butter. Let me go grab that out of the fridge. It does need to be cold. Let me grab my milk while I'm at it. So your butter needs to be cold. You're gonna add that in. And I chopped mine up. Not incredibly well, but I did make it a little, into little chunks of butter so that hopefully it would mix just a little bit easier. All right. Oop, that's gonna get everywhere. Don't get your mixer too crazy if you're using one. So you're gonna want that butter to get incorporated. It's gonna be very crumbly by the time it's done. It, 
it's probably going to take a while unless you're doing it by hand with a pastry cutter that would probably make it go a lot easier but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to be stubborn and let the mixer work for me okay it's all crumbly looking next you're going to add your two teaspoons of vanilla and your one large egg now because i split this in half i am using applesauce instead. I'm using an eighth of a cup of applesauce because a fourth of a cup of applesauce is the equivalent of one egg. It's not going to change the flavor profile too much. They do have my vanilla in there too. So less dishes for me to wash. Make sure that all goes in there. It smells good. All right. And then your one cup of milk. Try to make sure it's nice and cold. You're gonna stir this until your liquid is completely absorbed and you have one very cohesive dough. You may have to add a little bit of water. Give it some time, be patient. Don't be like me, quick to sprinkle water in there and then you have a really sticky wet dough. We don't want a sticky wet dough with this. It is starting to come together. Once your dough comes together, you're going to get out your rolling mat, your rolling pin, and we're going to make our biscuits, okay? Okay, you've got your silicone baking mat or your countertop. Lightly give it a little flour dusting there, and then you are going to turn your dough out on here. We're working quickly. We do not want that butter to melt. All right, no melted butter. It's much like when we do pie dough with real butter. You, it needs to stay cold. That's what makes it nice and flaky and gives it all those layers in the oven. At this point, you may also want to flour your hands just a little bit because we are going to knead it together a couple times here to make sure that it's going to hold together. Flour as needed, y'all. Don't be shy. Obviously, you don't want your dough to get too dry. Um, if you do substitute uh, applesauce for an egg, sometimes your dough can get a little on the wet side. So adding a little extra flour in the kneading process is not the worst thing in the world, okay? You don't wanna go too much because you do want it to stick together. All right, now we're going to roll this out. Going to need to be about a half of an inch thick so you are also going to want your kitchen ruler peep the new rolling pin here my wooden one was starting to fall apart very sad very sad so i just got this new one this is the first time i'm using it i'm super excited to be using it and it's it's hefty it's got some weight to it i'm not really needing to push too much here All right, let's see where we're at for height. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a little, mine's a little too thin. Don't, don't overdo it like I do. I'm enthusiastic with my new rolling pin. We don't need that. So I'm just gonna pump mine back up here. All right, you're gonna cut your circles. This is a two and a half inch cookie cutter. Um, I should be able to get four to five of these. You should be able to get nine. You're gonna put this on a prepared baking sheet. So a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. Gather your dough back up, squish it all together. And then you can give it another quick roll. You may have to reflower. You're going to baste your tops and your sides with some milk. And then we're going to sprinkle this with some coarse sugar. If you want to get crazy, I'm sure that you can use some colored sugar, some red, white, and blue if you're going for that Independence Day aesthetic. 
I'm just gonna go with the brown sugar that I have. This is where I tend to overdo it, but oh well. <laughs> I like sugar. These are gonna go into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes or until they are golden brown. I am going to split the difference and set my timer for 11 minutes. Now, once they come out of the oven, you are going to need to cool them down. It should take at least 15 minutes. And then when they're cool, we're gonna go ahead and assemble them. So I'll see you back in about half an hour. All right, these turned out pretty great. Mine are a little on the thin side. I think I rolled my dough out a little too thin. This is the thickest one that I've got here. And as you can see, it's not very thick. So I got overzealous when rolling out my dough. What you're going to want to do is you are going to slice this in half. You're going to have your whipped cream, your strawberries, blueberries are optional. A little bit goes a long way. I'm going to kind of drain off some of the syrup off of my, uh, my strawberries here. And then you put your top on and you could leave it there. You could absolutely leave it there. I'm going to be a little extra. We're going to have a little bit of howdy doody here with some blueberries on the top. And there is my very, very patriotic strawberry shortcake. Let's see how it tastes. Now I'm going to confess something. I'm not much of a fruit person. I really like apples. I like fruit in smoothies, but as far as this kind of thing goes, it may not be my, my most favorite, but I'm going to give it a try because gosh, darn it. This looks good. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Um, the biscuit has a sweet flavor to it. That crunch of the sugar on the top, the tartness of the raspberries. I didn't get a blueberry in there. I think I'll, I think I'll kind of mash up some of the blueberries so that it drizzles down the side and the lightness of the whipped cream really is fantastic summertime flavor combination. So two thumbs up for this, uh, for this recipe from King Arthur. Knocked it out of the park, it's a good one. Well, that's it for this week's baking challenge. I hope that you had a chance to bake along and I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I thought it was absolutely delightful. If you haven't already, you should hit the subscribe button below. We have a new recipe every single Saturday morning. Well, a new to me recipe every single Saturday morning. You should also head over to the Facebook page and follow along there because every Wednesday morning, I'm going to release the name of what we're baking along with the ingredient list. That way you can get your shopping done with plenty of time. Well, I'm gonna go finish the rest of the strawberry shortcake and I will see you next week. <music>